The tennis programs have a championship pedigree at the University of Indianapolis. They've also got championships under their belts in terms of the fall. Individual singles champs in the ITA regionals in both women's and men's tennis. The women's tennis program, the defending conference champs. The men's team looking to end an over two decade drought without winning a conference title. And they've got NCAA aspirations as well. Every sport has its competition, but in, in terms of tennis, the competition that you get every day in practice when you are fighting for a spot, one through six in singles, one through three in doubles, how much does that really kind of set the tone for the rest of the year, the competition your players are putting in in practice every day? Oh, yeah, we, we talk a lot about that. Yeah. I mean, we talk a lot about putting ourselves in match situation, uh, training like we're playing in matches, mm -hmm. getting that edge. Uh, that way, when we get into a match, everything is a natural process. So, so far, the kids have done really well. Uh, we started our practices, our first practice yesterday, right. and uh, it was a high quality already. So it's it's been really exciting to see them coming back in shape and hitting the ball as well as they were doing it yesterday. Was uh, it's promising? You got that women's championship a year ago. Still striving to get that men's championship. I know our club will be a big part, and other guys as well pushing you towards that. What will it take to get over the top on, on the men's side in conference? Uh, play United. Mm -hmm. I think you know staying in in, uh, in good shape. You know staying away from injuries mm -hmm. is, is definitely the big thing for us. Uh, we have a very deep team. Like I said, we are reinforced. You know our lineup with uh, with newcomers yep. on both sides that are going to be playing at the top of our lineup. So we're pushing everybody down. Uh, this makes you a whole. I got more, so much more depth. Oh yeah, so much more depth. Mm -hmm. you know, our, our goal is to make it top ten in the, in, uh, in the country this year. Yep. Uh, you know, of course, it's very difficult to find the teams to play. Yep. Uh, we have to travel all the way down to Florida and so forth. And uh, but we are uh, we're very hopeful that we're going to be able to uh, to create some some big results this year. The goal come April is winning league championships. May it's about the NCAA's. What's going to make this a good postseason for both your women's and men's program? I mean, you know. We we, uh, I think winning winning the conference is a big thing for sure. us. Uh, making it to the regional, it really depends on what, who are we going to be playing. Right. Uh, so our goal is to definitely make it to the Sweet 16 and hopefully be able to get one or two matches. Now, not I know the, the it's, tennis has become a year-round sport where you've got important competitions in the fall, but really the most important aspect of the team stuff is in the spring. But I know for you it was a very good fall. Tell us about it. Yeah, I mean, I, I won the regionals the second time this year, and I made it to the semifinals in the, at the nationals. Yep. And, yeah. It was it was all right. Well, it was all right. It was better than all right. That that that's pretty good. What what sort of confidence does that give you going into uh, this coming season? I mean, I hope it's also like making my whole team, the whole team, stronger, mm -hmm. and they're all proud of me. And it's, I mean, it's just good for us. Yeah. What sort of goals have you and your team set for for the spring season? Uh, we want to win conference again, regionals, mm -hmm. and then. Let's see how far we can go at Nationals. <laughs> Just push it as, as best you can. How are things going for you in the classroom? It's pretty good. Um, last semester was good. Mm -hmm. And let's see how it goes this semester. What's the major for you? Sports marketing. And what are you hoping to do with that? Um, I'm into fitness. I like fitness. Mm -hmm. So maybe something into fitness. And, but I, I'm not sure yet. I know you had a chance to play in another Division II school at Ohio Dominican before you came here. What was appealing about this place that, that, that made it feel like a better fit for you? I mean, uh, the reason I, I, I left Ohio Dominican was because they cut the program, mm -hmm. this program, but also like for me to, to come here, my brother was, was playing in the tennis team here, yep. and he's about to graduate here, so so uh, that encouraged me to come here too. Uh, what, so what's it like having the family affair, having, having everybody here in the one roof? It's really nice because I really miss my family when I come here to the States. Uh, for those that don't know, uh, you are from Peru. Mm -hmm. So what, uh, what was the appeal of, of, of playing college tennis and coming to the U.S. for you? It's a really nice experience. It's different because back home we play like uh, on clay, clay mm -hmm. surface, and here like outdoors, and right. here is indoors. <laughs> the absolute opposite. Yeah, right. But it's a, a it's a little more um, temperate, be the way to put it, this time of year. Playing outside on clay would be kind of rough right now. Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> play like that. Uh, um, I don't know. I like it playing indoors too. So my game adjusts to it. 
All right. Now, do you and your brothers play doubles together? We used to play when we were younger. Yeah. Not anymore. Not now. No. <laughs> Probably a good thing for you guys, you're not doubles teammates anymore? Mm -mm. Okay, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> What's the goal that you've got for, for this season? Um, it's to win conference, mm -hmm. to win the regionals, and maybe win a couple of rounds in the nationals. All right, uh, how are things going for you in the classroom? They're going all right. <laughs> trying to get better this, this semester. That's which, which is always a good thing. What, what's the major for you? International business. And what are you hoping to do with that once your playing days are done? I'm not sure yet. Figure it out as you go, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, thanks for the time and, and welcome to UND. Thank you. You guys have done a tremendous job of, of making further progress, whether it's in the fall, in, in the ITA events, whether it's in the spring, in the NCAA tournament. Yeah. As a senior, I, I'm sure there are still goals you want to accomplish. Talk about that in a moment. But what sense of pride do you have from knowing you're a part of the group that is, if not rebuilt this, then maybe even built it farther to, to what it had been in the past? Absolutely. Every year you see a step in the right direction, making it farther than I think the program has ever gone before. So it's really fun to be a part of history and kind of be a part of this team that is building the program to where it really wants to be. Uh, tell us about the major for you. How are things going for you in the classroom? It's going well. I'm actually going to IU next year to pursue optometry. Nice. That's the next step. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Now, given your tennis background, might there be a future in line judging then? You know, have, having the, popular, pop, pop, the proper ocular skills if you're going to be an optometrist. Sure. I'm sure being an optometrist will go hand in hand with being a line <laughs> judge, but I do not actually foresee that in the future. You'd rather play the sport than officiate it? I'd rather it? play it. Hopefully be out there on the tour, but that's probably a Legit, they're the dream. All right, uh, what's going to make this a good season for you and your teammates? Um, well, what the men's team hasn't done yet, at least while I'm here, is win the conference sure. tournament. So that is our main goal. Mm -hmm. um, I think we have our eyes set on that. But other than that, we want to make it to nationals again mm -hmm. um, and maybe make it around further, make it to the Elite Eight like we um, did not do last year. So that's the goal, and I think it's very attainable with the skill we have this year. Looking back, why was this the right place for you to go to school? At first, I wasn't for sure. I wasn't like into the college search. I didn't go on a lot of visits, but after coming here, I, I wouldn't have gone anywhere else. It's just perfect distance from home. I get to see my family and the people I've met have been awesome. Like it's, I wouldn't change it for anything. Tell us about how things are going for you in the classroom. Going well. I'm in my last semester, and I got a 4.0 last semester. Wow. I'm excited about that. I'm trying to finish out with 4.0, so we'll see how it goes this semester. And what is the major for you? Information systems. And what are you hoping to do with that? I actually just got a job. They called me yesterday at Allegiant, and it's a consulting company. Yeah. And I'm going to be a junior business analyst. So I was that made my whole week when they called yesterday. So. I, I think that'd make my entire month because you're four months out from graduating, and you know you've got a job waiting for I you. I know it's perfect. I don't have to stress during season about doing interviews and job searching. So it's just awesome. So this is going to be the most focused tennis, the most enjoyable tennis of your career, right? <laughs> yes, I'm so happy. I'm going to be so focused. Yeah, congratulations Thank on that. You. And and then what are your goals for this? upcoming season? Um, obviously our first goal is to win conference and repeat what we did last year which was so fun yeah. and then hopefully go to nationals and on top of that going to nationals was an awesome experience but I want to win around there and <laughs> keep making history so those are our two main goals. 